In this video, I'm going to show you how to customize GNOME desktop environment. I'll be doing this on Arch Linux, but you can do this on any other Linux distribution that offers vanilla GNOME. For an example, I'll be showing you how I customize the GNOME themed edition of the Arch Linux GUI project. If you're new to this channel and to the project in general, please feel free to visit the project website as well as a video that I made, link to all of which is in the description. So let's begin. The first thing we want to do is open our terminal and let's go ahead and open it. Before we even open it, let's go ahead and add that to favorites because that's not by default. And now let's open it. The first thing that I want to do here is because since this terminal is very bright for me and since it's blinding me, I'm going to change the way it looks. And for that, I can always go ahead and click on this, go to preferences, go to the profiles and there's unnamed written over here. And I can go to, uh, let's say colors and I can turn this off and then go ahead and select a dark theme. So gnome dark or tango dark, anyone works. And then I can also go to text since the font is pretty small here. I can go to, uh, let's say, where is it? Custom font and I can increase the font size to let's say 16. So by default, the font now is big. And the first thing we want to do is refresh our databases. So on arch, it's sudo pacman-sy and I can just type in my password. On your specific distribution, you can go ahead and do whatever your package manager demands. Next, we are going to install a web browser. So in my case, it's going to be Firefox, anything that you can install based on your preferences. We also need Git and we'll need the GNOME tweak tool. So GNOME tweak tool. So for the time being, this is all we need and this is going to take just a couple of seconds to download and install. Once this is done, let's go ahead and get a look at our browser. Why is it not here? It's here now. And I'm going to add this to favorites, move it ahead. And I'm also going to move the terminal here. I just removed the software because I don't need it there. We can go ahead and install uh, other applications that we might want to use, for example, uh, I always have VLC on the dock, so VLC, and then we can have LibreOffice uh, Fresh, for example. You can go with LibreOffice still. And let's go ahead and install all of this. You can also go ahead and install fonts. So this is just going to take a couple of seconds to complete. And once this is done, let's go ahead and meanwhile open the browser. And we want to do certain settings here. So let's go ahead and close all of these default windows and i'm just going to come to settings and turn off all of these things now these are your personal preferences if you want to have uh, the news feed as well as the shortcuts i ship the gnome themed edition like this now let's go to settings here so you can click on the three on the hamburger as they call it go to settings and go to extensions go to themes and then you can enable the dark theme now, another thing that I like to do is install an extension called Dark Reader. So you can type in Dark Reader. And if you are on Firefox, uh, if you're on Chrome or Chromium, sorry, you can go ahead and click on chrome.google.com. And since I'm on Firefox, I'm just going to search for it. And we need to go to addons.mozilla.org and add this to Firefox. Click on Add and click on OK. So now if I search for anything, let's say GitHub, dot com we'll be going there shortly you can see that the website is in dark mode so we are done with this we have also installed some applications we can go ahead and install for example uh font pack so let's do that as well sudo pacman dash s let's say ttf roboto uh, this is pretty much like your calibri fonts looks like that if, if you are familiar with that in windows so anyways we have installed most of the stuff that we need now let's go ahead and open uh, the tweak tool. So let's go ahead and search for it. And let's tweak, uh, let's do some uh, uh, some settings. So the first thing we get when we open the tweak tool, we see that extensions has moved. So previously it was part of this application itself. Now what it's, it means is it's this guy extensions, all right? So on the GNOME themed edition, I have the application menu turned on, but we are going to have an error because there's a package that is not installed. Uh, so we need to install that. So let's open the terminal and that package is a uh, GNOME menu. So sudo pacman 
in my case uh, on arch or arch based distributions no menus and that should solve it all right uh, now let me just go ahead and close this and now open our browser and let's go ahead and uh, install the fonts icons and theming so the cursor theme is known as vimix cursors uh, we need to go to the github page cursors git and we also the icon theme is stella circle icons uh, again we are going to go to the git page and the theme is orcus theme git so we are just going to open their respective uh, github pages and we are going to clone them so let's open our terminal and just for the sake of simplicity and the sake of convenience let's go to downloads uh, and let's go ahead and uh, one by one clone this so git clone uh, so just type that in and now we need uh, the icon we just cloned the cursor theme now let's go ahead and clone the icon theme and also now the system theme so git clone all right and we are going to need another application that is known as chrome gnome shell now why are we uh, doing this is because this package is in the AUR so we need an AUR helper such as Ye or Paru but I'm not installing that because uh, on camera uh, it's going to take some time so just to save time I'm also going to go ahead and just manually compile Chrome Gnome shell uh, doesn't matter what browser you have uh, it works in the case of Firefox as well so first things first let's go ahead and install that so let's go to Chrome Gnome shell and it should have a package build file like this this guy here so let's go ahead and uh, before we do this we need to install uh, the base devil group which will allow us to build this package so install base devil and this should take a couple of seconds to install and once this is done we can go ahead and build uh, chrome gnome shell one thing that i would recommend is installing an aur helper that will save time but you know installing aur helpers manually for example if I install Paru, that's going to take some time to compile it, uh, and to save time on camera, I'm just you know doing this. So ls again, just to show the contents, and you can just type in make package dash sirc s for installing the dependencies, i for uh, installing this Chrome Gnome shell package, r for removing the dependencies since we don't need, and c to clean up the entire folder. So that's pretty much it. We quickly did a compile. We quickly grab the packages sorry and now we'll be just compiling it as you can see over here and it's probably done so we can just get rid of all of this now we need to uh, get another extension that is a uh, chrome uh, wait that is extensions wait gnome extension that's that's the name actually gnome extensions extensions dot gnome dot org that's the uh, actual <laughs> uh, URL of that thing of, of, of the site so we need to click here to install browser extensions uh, continue to installation click on add uh, once this is done we can click on ok and then we need to click on user themes and click on turn on uh, that's pretty much it so now we can close uh, the browser uh, if we need it will take it out again right now what we need is the tweak tool so the first tweak that I'm going to do is to the top bar which is this guy here uh, and I'm just going to probably turn on the weekday and on the window title bar uh, top bar is sorry this guy here all right and window title bar is this so we need to turn on I, I would prefer to turn on maximize and minimize always uh, is a lifesaver fonts you can change this to let's say the Roboto font that we installed so maybe like Roboto light so you can see the font changes i'll just keep it to cantorel uh, because it looks nice so cantorel regular click on this maybe you want roboto medium or regular that's again up to you uh, so you can do that now on appearances what we want to do is uh, we have not installed the theme so let's go ahead and do that quickly so let's go ahead and open our file browser let's go to uh, downloads and open uh, this in the terminal and we can close this by the way and we can just go ahead and uh, ls so we have first things first orcus theme 
uh, let's go ahead and we have an install script by the way over here so we can just run the script and type in your sudo password and that's done now you can go back to your next one is the cursor so we, we again have an install script here so install it like this that's done and now we have our font or uh, our icon theme so color circle icons again we have this install script that we need to run um, and you can just do that that's done now we can again open our tweak tool and uh, we can go ahead and select the cursors to vmix cursors the icons to tele circle dark so you can see the cursor has changed the icons here have changed and we can go to legacy applications and select this to orcus dark so this has changed and the shell we can change this to orcus dark as well so we need to just uh, look you can see the changes are here let's go ahead to extensions and we'll probably need to uh, restart the machine uh, once we restart the menus will be back before we do that let's go ahead and install the wallpaper package uh, so on arch it is uh, it is arch linux wallpapers basically sudo pacman dash s arch linux wallpaper that's going to take a couple of seconds uh, and let's go ahead and go to change background uh, the wallpaper that I have selected is this one and before we do anything else let's go ahead and restart so you can see all of our theming is applied appropriately and we'll just restart to make sure the menu appears again so I'll just quickly log in and the menu is here so you can go ahead and do whatever you want with that uh, I'm just going to change the font again because it honestly to me doesn't look nice so let's go to uh, where is it Orcus Dark oh, this is Orcus Dark as well and uh, what I want to change is the fonts yeah Cantorel regular this looks nice actually uh, if we open for example our favorites files you, see, you can see that it works everything works as intended you can go ahead and change all of this you can add your shortcuts so you can uh, go to settings and uh, it should be somewhere in keyboard I believe keyboard and then you can view custom shortcuts so you can uh, launchers launch terminal there is no such thing so launch uh, home folder you can do this super E and maybe since there's nothing for terminal we can just type in name launch terminal and the command is gnome terminal by the way and the shortcut we all like is control alt t so add control alt t launches the terminal for us all right uh, before we leave uh, before i leave with you uh, leave you guys with this video i'll also show you how i do the uh, LibreOffice customization so I can just go ahead and close this run this action now uh, I do the tabbed settings apply to all not just LibreOffice impress click on close click on close and this is pretty much it uh, and what you can do is install a font known as TTS uh, have I installed VLC by the way let me see we don't have VLC right so we okay we do have VLC we just installed that I forgot so you can add this here this is how I do it again that's your preference and uh, there's a font that we can install if I open my browser and go to TTF MS uh, fonts just in case because certain documents are jeopardized uh, when you open them with not these fonts basically so I'll again go to my downloads uh, sorry not that and clone this font package it didn't get copied I, I think so favorites let's go to history uh, we went to TTFMS fonts and copy this get clone now it's getting cloned uh, CD TTF and we can now just make package SIRC 
this is going to take some time. It's you can see all of these familiar fonts, Arial and Comic and all of that stuff. So once that's done, basically you can launch uh, when you open your LibreOffice suite. It's all under here, Office. Uh, whenever you open it, you'll be able to see Times New Roman and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. This is how we uh, customize GNOME. This is how I customize GNOME uh, for the GNOME themed edition. Let me just show you what I meant. Uh, let's go to Office and then Office Impress. You can see we have Arial here. If I open, uh, let's say, the Word document stuff, we see Times New Roman here. So now you have support for all of your stuff and basically you can just move ahead from this. So just to end of the video, I'll just do a quick little new fetch and that's pretty much it. If you like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a nice day.